Hey everyone, today I want to do a video on the operation and repair of a BSR based uh, record player. Uh, this particular unit is uh, from the late 60s, early 70s. Um, these units were common throughout the 70s, although I've seen slightly different styles um, used. Um, this particular unit um, has four speeds, 16, 33, 45, and 78, and it has an um, auto changer mechanism. And I've had this particular unit for about uh, 25 years sitting in my parents' basement. I don't even remember where I got it. Um, it supposedly dates back to 1970. Um, and I'm going to show you what I had to do to get this running again. Um, so when I first got it, the platter would spin. Um, one of the common problems is the... Um, grease in that bearing will gum up and this platter won't even spin for you. Um, there's other videos on YouTube on how to repair that. Um, basically you take this C-clip out on the top here, you lift this top piece out and you re-grease it. Um, you can also remove the center pin if necessary. Um, but that wasn't the problem here. Uh, so I was able to turn it on and you can see the platter spinning and what was happening for me was when I tried to reject a record the platter stopped came to a standstill and I figured well maybe if I work it through it's just st stiff from age um, and what I did I started off by turning the speed up to 78 and I manually rejected the record a few times and that did seem to loosen things up a bit so it would still slow down a little bit, but it would eventually keep going. But then I realized my first problem was when I tried to reduce the speed again, this selector switch just was spinning freely. So it was stuck in 78 mode. So I figured something was gummed up inside and I had to take it apart. Um, so I'm going to show you what I had to do for that. Um, there apparently was a further complication that took me a while to figure out. Um, but it ultimately be, um, was the reason was other things were gummed up under, underneath in all the um, mechanisms for the auto changer. And I'm going to show you some of the uh, underneath how the auto changer works a little bit and how the record player itself works. After I did some troubleshooting and um, figuring things out. So for starters, one of the keys is this little switch back here. What this is for is this will tell the record player auto changer if there's a 12 inch record, a 10 inch record, or no records left on the stack. So when you put some records on the stack, this will be pushed out. When a record drops, it will push it in briefly and then it'll kick back out. That will tell the record player that it's a 12 inch record. If a record drops and this stays out, it knows it's a 10 inch record and that's where the tone arm will drop um, in position for that. If it stays in completely when this arm is completely down like this, that tells the record player there's no records left on the stack and it will reset the tone arm back on the stand. So I will show you right now those three modes. So this should be the 10 inch record tone arm drop this will be the 12 inch record tone arm drop when this pulls in I'm going to click that in you can see it drops for the 12 inch record size and when the arm is down completely and this is pushed back arm will just set itself right back down and shut off. One thing that I haven't quite figured out what it's for is this little switch here. Um, what this will do is it will push that little knob out when it's up. So it'll stay up when it's out like this pushes back down 
Not quite sure what that's for. Um, but let me um, take this apart and I'm going to show you the underneath it and um, how all of this stuff works underneath. All right, so on this particular unit, how the uh, unit comes apart is there's two screws, one here and one here, and that separates the top and the bottom half. Um, you'll notice there's actually four screws on the top of these units, but those aren't always the best way to get into these units or even the way you can get in at all. So on this, you just lift it up. This is what the bottom looks like. Um, what kind of mildly surprised me when I first opened this up was this piece of styrofoam separating the electronic half from the record player half. Uh, I've never seen that done before. Um, so to tackle the problems that I had, the first issue was the speed selector being stuck and that is this piece right here. So what this is actually doing on this side is it's moving the rubber wheel up and down to adjust the speed. And what happens when I put it in 78 mode, it came to the bottom and was stuck there. And you can see this, this flap in the breeze now. So what I ended up doing is I lubricated this shaft and spring right here with some silicone spray. Um, I'm not sure this is necessarily the best thing to use, but it seemed to work pretty well. Uh, I wanted to make sure I used something that was uh, going to be safe on plastics. Um, there are harsher things that uh, can de definitely damage the plastic. Uh, so you got to be careful and pick a lubricant that uh, is safe on plastics. So the other problem after I fix that turned out to be this auto changer mechanism on the other side and that switch I was showing you when you push that in it moves this these two pieces in here and these were super frozen solid I had a hard time moving them at all um, so basically what I ended up doing is I sprayed some of the silicone lubricant right in between that seam there to help loosen things up. And then I worked it back and forth for several minutes. And that seemed to free up this mechanism so as you can see it moves very freely now. So I thought that was the uh, all I needed but it turned out there was a little more than that. Because this mechanism right here was also frozen. So what I ended up doing for that one is I tipped the unit this way. And I sprayed some lubricant in, in front and behind of that units little tab so it still moves freely and again I had to work that back and forth for several minutes to free it up um, what I had noticed is when this was not working correctly what was happening is this mechanism would pull back to try to move the tone arm which was done by this piece right here and it was kind of rubbing against it but not engaging so I'm going to prop this unit up on some water bottles and hopefully show you how uh, a proper operation is to give you a better idea how the whole auto changer mechanism works alright so what I've done is I've actually propped up the entire record player on um, the four corners with some plastic water bottles and I'm showing you the underside of the um, 
auto changer mechanism and let me just give you a brief description of uh, everything you're looking at here this right here um, is the center spindle and the rounder part bigger part here is where the actual platter is spinning this right here is part of that record size mechanism with the little switch that I was showing you about this right here is the uh, record holding arm this right here actually controls the uh, swing of the tone arm and this large piece here um, both is used to lift the tone arm and this here will interact with this piece here to grab the tone arm and move it into position. So now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to turn the record player on and show you all the different modes and I will talk you through what it's doing on the top. I'm turning it on. I'm going to reject it. I have a 12 inch record on right now on the spindle. It's going to drop down. Tone arm is moving into position, dropping. And I'm going to reject the record again. Tone arm is lifting, moving back to home position, being set back down because there's nothing left on the stack. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate a 10 inch record. Turning it on, rejecting it, tone arms lifting, moving into position, and being dropped for 10 inch record. No, no. Yeah. I'm going to reject it again, tone arms lifting, going back to home position, and it's going to be set back down because there's nothing left. So that's how the uh, auto changer on uh, one of these uh, old BSR record players works. Um, so basically a lot of this old mechanism, all this old grease gets uh, gummed up and you need to clean it up and um, apply new lubricant. Uh, and that should hopefully get your record player back up and running again. So thanks for watching everyone.